The Bring It, Push It, Own It's fourth annual International Women's Day Breakfast is making its way to the city. Joining us this morning to give us more details is Executive Director Kara Hawley and Board Member Jennifer Garrison. Guys, thanks so much for being here. You got the pink Thank memo. Yes, yes, we yes, we did. did. You look great this morning all in our pink together. I was like, we're a little bit extra, so it just adds a little yeah. blitz to it. Add to it. I love it. Okay, so tell us about Bring It, Push It, Own It the organization in itself and the mission you guys have. Yeah, our biggest message is joy, movement, connection, and we focus mainly on mental health, physical health, and social health. So we do a lot of impactful movement and workshops throughout the city. And there's an international women's breakfast that's coming soon to celebrate what you guys do. Yes. Tell us specifically about that event. Yeah, I'll let Jennifer chime in. So it's just a huge celebration where we're bringing women together of the community, highlighting their achievements, you know, all the welcoming things that they do here and just bring us all together to have a one great moment together. What are some details of the event in case people are watching this morning and want to try and get in on the event? It's men and women are invited to join too. Yeah, so it's our fourth annual breakfast. We used to do it on Wednesday morning, but we wanted to bring more community members that weren't able to attend during the week. So it's on a Saturday. Okay. And it's a brunch. Mm -hmm. So there are mimosas, continental breakfast. We're going to be doing our International Women's Day Award. So if you want to nominate someone, that mm. is a great place to do that and just really celebrate women in that way. And it's going to be really hype. We're going to have bring, just think of it like with the celebration, the bells and whistles, the party, the lights, mm -hmm. the music, it's it's going to be just a really fun event to attend and just make you feel so joyful and excited for what you're doing and also supporting Bring It, which is empowering the next generation of women. Why were you looking to highlight International Women's Day? So we found it four years ago that no one was really doing that in this area. We're starting to get better and more um, organizations are supporting that and really highlighting it. So four years ago, our CEO and founder, Tisha Strasser, was like, we got to bring this here. We got to do mm -hmm. something. So she started it with um, limited resources and a limited budget. And they just realized with our attendance and doing so well the first year, we have to bring mm -hmm. this back and we have to bring more and more and really just make it so exciting. So people can't wait to come back to it. Jennifer, I'll, I'll ask you, how is this organization impacting not only young women, uh, girls, but so many people throughout the city of Fort Wayne. Yeah, we do so much outreach with just many different groups. We do adaptive, young girls, women's, co-ed, and we want to reach and, and make sure we're touching the lives of everyone, not just women, but everyone. But we do highlight women in general, but we want to bring everyone together to celebrate and bring resources to them. Because we, when we work with mental health, I feel like it's just a really mm -hmm. untapped mm -hmm. thing to talk about, but we want to promote that it's okay mm -hmm. and really bring joy and love to everyone. Well, Oh yeah, love what you guys are doing. I'm so excited. I'll actually be at the International Women's Breakfast yeah, as we're well. We're so excited. Yeah, I'm so excited too. So if you want to head out there yourself, there'll be a link on Wayne.com.